Okay, hello. I'm just making a quick um, product review for this special needs car seat that my daughter has. It is called a Conveyed Carrot. And I'll show a picture of what the original seat looks like without any add-ons. Um, so first off, this is Eleanor. She's four years old and she was too big for conventional, you know, toddler car seats, really. Um, I could have put her in just a booster, but that doesn't really give her much support. She's special needs. Um, she's blind and she has brain conditions. And so I wanted, uh, we wanted something um, that would support her better. And this is what we found. And this seat is just awesome. So let me show you some of the features. First off, um, you have to buckle them in with the harness here. This, um, I think, is like stock. You know, it's just a three-point harness. And then you still have to use your car's seat belt because this just holds them in the seat but not into the car. Um, so then you still have to strap this across for safety. Um, now, I don't want to forget to mention this right here is an extra pad that I bought on Amazon that just happens to match perfectly. But it doesn't come with that. And the seatbelt, the way it's positioned, it kind of cuts across their neck. Um, so she was getting red marks on her neck. So you'll definitely want to get some kind of an extra pad to go across here. It does come with these neck pads right here. I know. You, you, you. You, 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 my darling. So... This is um, one of the headpieces. I love you too. This is one of the headpieces you can get. Um, like with most of the special needs stuff, you have to um, really specify all the different little pieces. Otherwise, you're just going to get like the stock basic accessories. You really have to go into the product and look at all the different options and see what's going to be best for your child and be specific with what you're ordering. Okay. Um, don't just depend on your PT or whoever to, cause they don't have your kids. So they're not going to think of all the, uh, the bells and whistles that you're going to want. So we got this seat, um, headpiece. There was a couple other ones that kind of cups her head. It's nice and squishy. Um, I can feel some kind of firmness to it. So there's, there's gotta be metal in it somewhere, but this is actually really squishy. Okay. I'm going to let her out real quick and then I'll finish talking about it. Okay, she's out of her seat. Sister's holding her now, so I can show you the rest of the seat. Um, so, let's see. What else do I want to show you? First of all, we got this um, right here. This is an extra seat that, uh, pad that you can have ordered. It's, um, I forget what the name of it is, but it's basically a liner that is like a waterproof kind of a liner. Uh, so that if they like pee through their diapers and stuff, then this is easy to take out and wash without soiling the whole seat. The whole seat is covered in this soft... Um, felt kind of a fabric um, so that's it's nice and comfy this part like I was showing in the last um, part before I took my daughter out is nice and squishy okay so very comfortable and it gives her I like how it cups around a little bit so that it'll give her a little bit of head support if she falls asleep then her head can just go to the side I think they have some that are more aggressive and have even more coverage than this and then they have ones that are have even less <laughs> support so it kind of depends on what your child's needs is um, we also got this set right here this black mesh fabric and it's got these little side pieces and it's got a cushion um, underneath the butt too just to make it extra more comfortable and also it's supposed to like wick away moisture and keep the seat kind of cool we live in a, a very hot state and uh, so that just helps her stay cool since this whole thing is felt otherwise it could be kind of too cozy so you might want to get those extra um, supports and stuff while you're at it Another feature that this has that you have to ask for is this footrest. This is the footrest. Um, I think you could actually like slip their, their shoe through here to hold their feet in place. We don't do that. We just let her kick around. But it gives her something to put her feet on. Okay. And it just slides right into the base right here. But you do have to order a lot of these things separately uh, or at the same time. But add them on to your order. Okay. These are nice because they can flip away. Um, it actually flips all the way up. There's something in the way I think. Yeah. There you go. It actually flips all the way up out of the way. Um, which is nice if you need to get anything that's down under it. Now they make extensions. You're going to want to get all the extensions you can for the seat right away. That's the mis one of the mistakes I made is not getting that because then as soon as your kid grows a little bit, the seat will grow with them. They make lots of extensions, but if you don't have them, good luck because the way the economy is right now, it's really hard for things to come in in a timely fashion. So just order all the extensions now. Your your PT should be able to put that in so that they have all the growth plates that they need. Um, so there are actually extensions, excuse me, that go right here that um, would, would like the extension would fit in here and then the footrest would, would mount there. So it gives them more and more leg room essentially. Okay, and then one... One thing that I did get was the back extensions, so I don't regret that at least. She currently has, right here you can see one of the back extensions. This is a two inch back extension, and then we also have a four inch one. 
and you can combine and use the two inch and the four inch which just boosts this whole seat up even higher and boosts this up even higher. So it's gonna fit her for even longer. So technically we'll still be able to use it for a long time even though I don't have the leg extension piece, her, leg will just have, her legs will just dangle down here and she should be fine with that. But I would suggest that you just get all the extension pieces that you can, okay? You're also gonna wanna request this piece right here. This is um, the hinge lock belt and the hinge lock belt actually uh, locks it because the whole seat basically has a hinge down here where the top just like pivots from the bottom and uh, I actually when we first were picking it up I didn't have this belt um, they had to order it separately and I almost broke my finger really bad because the hinge down there is just horrible so when you pick the seat up it'll just flop open and it pinches you so this hinge lock belt just holds the bottom to the top so it holds its shape for um, for easy maneuvering to take this seat out and put it into say a different vehicle that we have and stuff like that okay so that's the hinge lock belt you would want that as well and the other feature that we got for her was this tray, which is also covered in felt, so it's nice and fuzzy. And it actually, this, this thing comes off, oh, this, oh, that's what this is. This straps down to here, okay? And then there's black Velcro straps, here we go. Do, do, do. She hasn't been using it lately, but it does strap across like this to hold the tray on. So this just gives them a play surface. You can also get use it as a feeding surface, um, even though obviously, it might be nice to have a plastic cover for it if you're doing feeding so it's easier to, to wipe up. We use it mostly for play because she can put toys on it. She could lay her, her head on it if she wants to lean forward and be comfy that way. And then when we're not using it, we just swing it out of the way and she's got that nice tray to go with her seat. So I think that's most of the features that I wanted to show you. Just make sure you get all the extra pads and cushions, even if you think your child's not gonna need them. What I have found through getting different equipment is that you end up needing more than you think you're gonna need. Um, so just get everything that you possibly can. All the bells, all the whistles, all the extensions, all of the pads, um, and even like this set that, that's for um, wicking away moisture and heat and stuff. Just get everything, and that way you can hook it up the way that you need to. It does come apart pretty easily. This this headpiece comes off, and you can put on the other headpieces. Um, this back part is really easy to hoist up, and then you can put the extensions down here, uh, like I was showing you. Um, so there's quite a few ways that you can adjust this uh, in a pretty easy fashion. And it just gives her a good level of support. So we highly recommend this car seat for special needs. It is the Conveyed Carrot 3 is the actual number on it. Conveyed Carrot 3. And um, if you have any questions about this product, post it in the comments and I will be happy to help you. But we're very happy. Um, it keeps her very cozy. It gives her lots of outside input so she doesn't feel like she's just you know, sitting on a table or something with like no support and no outside input, she would feel really insecure, especially since she's blind. And um, so this just works very well for us. We highly recommend it. Ask me if you have any questions. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video. God bless you.